To create a drop-down list in Excel or a list of options, we can easily select the range, the cells where we want to apply this list. Here I have just a sample report with the date, the item name, the quantity, and the cost for each one of those items. So let's say I don't want to manually input the name of the item over and over again. So I can select the cells and then go to the data. Here to the right, I can go to data validation. And this new window is going to pop up here for me. And I can go to allow any value. Instead, I can use list. And as the source, I can input the options that I want to use, such as item A, that is going to be the first option, comma, to move on to the second option, item B, comma, item C, and so forth. However, here we can already see a problem because as the list becomes larger and larger, it's going to be more difficult to input all the options that we have. So this is why I'm going to show another way to create a list in Excel if you have many, many, many different items. But let me click here OK for now. Now we already have the list that we need. And I only need to click here at the bottom right corner, click hold or click, just click once and then select the option that uh, we need to use. Very simple. But the problem, another problem that we have here, as we can notice, if I go to a blank row and try to input the item using the drop down list, I cannot do it because there is no drop down list right here. And I don't want to also select all the cells that I have underneath the, the data set because I don't think it's necessary. So I'm going to show you a, a solution to solve this problem right now. The thing that you need to do is, as we have a data set with, let's say, some formulas and uh, some drop down lists, what we can do is I can select everything and then I can go to insert and then table. We can transform this data set into a table. Make sure that uh, this checkbox is marked because my table has headers and then OK. That's it. Now we have a table in Excel and if you want to change the color, you can do it throughout this, this table design tab. But I want to stick with the standard color because it's not going to change the functionality of this tool. Now, let's say I want to input here any information. I have a new item that uh, arrived here and the date is, let's say this date right here, January 1st of 2025. And then I'm going to hit enter a new row now appears here for me being part of the table and if i click in the cell where i have the item as we can notice the drop down here the drop down list is already here so this is a benefit to use a table in excel and the table solves our problem to always input a drop down list in the new row okay so this is how we can solve this problem but let's say now how can we solve the problem about i have many items to be used in the drop down list what you can do is you can in any column to the right or to the left or anywhere else, even in a new sheet that you can add just to be used as your list. It doesn't matter. You can use any part of your Excel file to be used as a list. And here to the right, I have many different items such as laptop, your buds, tablet and so forth. And I want to transform this list into my drop down list. And another thing that is very important is if I select just this specific range right here and then later on or next day, next week, I have more items in my list. Those new items are not going to be automatically input in the drop down list. So to already solve this problem, to always maintain the list up to date for us, what we can do is let's just create a header for this list. Something very simple, such as list and then enter. Now, let me select everything here and I can go to insert table. Again, we going to use the table. My table has headers, of course. OK, and that's it. Now we have a table in Excel and the table is very important because whenever I input here a new information like this one and hit enter, this new information is going to be automatically input in the table. And if you want to get rid of any information anywhere, in our table you just need to right click and then go to delete table rows simple as that okay now how can i transform this table into the drop down list first of all let's in any blank cell 
click and then go to equals sign equals sign and select only the items that you have don't need to select the header okay now as we can notice i have the name of the table and the column that i'm using i want to select those informations without selecting the, the equal sign okay right click and then copy let me press ask escape now let's go here again to these items where i want to apply or update the drop down list let me select everything and then go to data data validation as we can notice my list already contains the options that i'm using currently but i want to select everything and get rid of this information now what we're going to do is we're going to transform this table into the list and whenever we update the list the drop down list will always be also updated for us equal sign equal sign the first thing and then i want to use a function that is called indirect like this indirect open parentheses open quotations right click paste the reference that we did copy before close quotations close parentheses we're done let's click ok now as we can notice whenever i click on a cell i have the same options that we have here into our list to the right and let me show you that it's always going to remain update let's say i want to input here a new data with this date and as we can notice the last information is a hard drive but i want to input a new value such as one two three abc just to make it different and then enter okay now if i go back here to the drop down list click and then in the down arrow i can see that the new item is right here and if let's say i want to organize from a to z or from z to a in a alphabetical way i can also do it going here to this filter within the header of the table i can click and then i can sort from a to z now as we can notice the items are being reorganized and if i go back to the drop down list the order that we have right here will always be the same as the drop down list okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video on how can we create in many different ways a drop down list in excel if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos let me know comment down below and i see you tomorrow because every day has a new video so i see you there